to my channel and today I am so happy. I have seen a lot of holiday 2014 palettes and the palette that most uh, appealed to me, the palette that most appealed to me was the Bourbon Decay Vice palette. And as you can see, it's creating some glare because it's very shiny and it has this wonderful chartreuse colored uh, plastic uh, like a multi-faceted uh, says vice and the back is also chartreuse okay sorry for the glare and it comes in a box like this very beautiful for gift giving and it has a little bag like this it's like a neoprene bag you know good for uh, putting makeup good for uh, putting a tablet maybe if you have a small tablet you can put it in here um, it's a little, as you know, neoprene is a little, uh, has a neoprene kind of finish, but now I look at it, it's not really a neoprene fabric. It kind of looks like neoprene from the outside. Okay, and so let me open the palette. Look at this, beautiful. Okay, and, um, first vice palette I do however have the second vice palette and let's compare the size it looks smaller to me so we can um, let me put it on top so from the side you can see that the, the newest vice palette vice 3 is thinner than this the, the vice 2 okay the width is somewhat the same the width is the same and the length the length here is the same so the, the difference is really the thinness, which is good because it's uh, easier to travel if you have a smaller um, palette, okay? So let me open the window, uh, open the window. Let me open the palette, not the window, the palette. And then you see there's a big giant mirror in there, which is great. And then you have this, and then of course you have a dual-ended brush. Let me take out the brush so you can see. Okay, dual ended with a matching color to match the uh, palette. Okay, and these brushes, I like the uh, Urban Decay brushes. They they uh, go well with the, I mean, they really help, you know, in the application. They're not just some cheapy, cheapy brush, okay? So, um, supposedly, according to the description, it's supposed, you're supposed, they group the colors for, uh, vertically like this. So this is uh, like a like a natural look. This is more of a jewel tone, bluish stuff. More of a um, goldy, you know, warm uh, warm color here. Then more of the pinky, and then more of the smoky. See. And so let me swatch them for you. And these are the 20 all new, never, never. Uh, how do you say? Never sold. These are new colors. They've never sold these colors before. And so let me go up from the from this side going down. Okay, I'm going to go like that. Okay? So first is Truth, which is a baby pink color. It's a little powdery. I don't know if you can see. Let me make it. Okay, there's a little baby, baby pink. That's the best description. Okay, next is I'm done, which is kind of a pink with a little bit of taupe in it. Okay, this color. Can you see this one here? These formulas seem to me a little bit more powdery than the. Uh, it's not as creamy as the original. You know, like the formula in the Vice Two. Okay, so here. Then. Next, I have Downfall, which is this color. It's more of a, like a brownie shade, like a light brown, light brown shade. Okay. Then next is DTF, which is like a plummy beige shade, a plummy shade there. Okay, moving on to the next column, we have Dragon, which is the beautiful green shade. I don't need to point out to you which Dragon is. I mean, which is Dragon, because this is a beautiful grass green. Okay, and of course, it's a little bit shimmery. Be 
beautiful for brown eyes. For any look, see I'm wearing green right now and I have a tutorial on this look. Um, it's my collaboration with Vida Nguyen so um, you know I have a link to this below and uh, this look is perfect for evening. But anyway let me continue with the Vice palette, Vice 3. Now I have Freeze which is like a sky blue shimmer color. Okay, beautiful as usual. This is more creamy, I think. And then heroin, which is a matte blue. Okay, so this is kind of like a like a navy blue. It, it looks darker when you swatch it than when it's in the pan. Okay, so you can see the range now of color. Okay. Then next. in it. There. Beautiful, huh? I think it also has a hint of like a little bit, teeny bit of, of olive, but I don't, you know, not too much, just a teeny, teeny bit. Okay, next is um, Vanity. We're on now to the next column, to the middle column right here. It's called Vanity, which is a great a great uh, purple. Okay, I'm gonna put it on on here now. It's a great, like grape juice, right? Okay, next comes Lucky, which is like a gold with a teeny, teeny, like a darker gold. I was gonna say with a little bit of copper. Yeah, it does have a little bit of copper. Here. Near my thumb, here. Where's my thumb? Here. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, there are a lot of swatch videos out there, right? Many times, if it's a very popular product, they're gonna have like 20, 30, I mean, lots and lots of swatches. But then, you know what? The advantage of doing a swatch a video like this is um, I have oriental skin, so you can see it against oriental skin to see how it contrasts with the person's um, actual skin tone. So this is called Rain. And this is a brown, like a bronzy brown. See, like a, this brown right here. Nice, huh? And Bobby Dazzles, the next one, which is a white, like a frosty white. Please don't mind my dirty finger. Frosty white. And this is a little powdery again. But, you know, I think with primer it's okay. Okay, next is, we're gonna go now to the fourth column here with the peaks. So I'm gonna start, it's called Alien. And this is like a Barbie pink. This color, I mean this finger. Barbie pink, okay, here, Barbie pink. Barbie pink, I'm gonna put under bar Bobby, uh, Bobby Dazzle. There. Let me darken it a little bit. See, these formulas are not as creamy as before. I don't like it. The other, the original Vice palette was much more creamy. And luxurious feet. I don't know if they're trying to cut costs or what. Okay, so here, pink, see that pink? Here. Okay, now I'm gonna go down. So the next one is alchemy. Alchemy. Which is more of a ruby. Ruby red. Ruby pink. Ruby purple. ruby. This is more of the color of a typical ruby, like if you go to a to a um, jewelry store, you know, not the top-notch ruby, more of a purplish ruby, like that, okay? 
So it's kind of a dark pink with some copper, I guess. That's the more conventional description. <laughs> okay, next is um, bondage. Ooh, this color is so nice, bondage, okay? This is more of a, see, look, look at this bondage color and look at this vanity color. So they're similar, right? Look, bondage, vanity, oops, vanity. And the one right below it is vanity. Look. So bondage apparently is a dark, it's like a black plum kind of, a dark plum. Whereas vanity is a grape juice color. See? Sometimes it helps, you know, to keep them, to put them right beside each other. Looking at them in the pan, it's hard to tell the difference. But once you apply it, put it on your hand, then you can see, right? Okay, so let's continue. On we go. Next is Sonic, which is this beautiful russet looking color here. Okay, so let me swatch that. Wow. It looks very pinkish here on camera, but in reality, it's more of a coppery, more of a copper, less red, okay? More, a little bit on the orangey side, less red. Okay, let me put that under alcohol. See, now you can see the orange, right? There. See, you can see this beautiful orange color. That is gonna be really nice for a warm toned makeup. Hmm? Okay, the last column is the smoky stuff. Okay, so let's start with the top, which is last sin. So in the pan, it looks like a champagne-y, pinky um, kind of look. I mean, kind of look. It looks like a champagne-y, pinky, taupey, <laughs> um, shimmery, shadow. So let's put this on. I'm going to put it on here. Can you see it? See, this is powdery. Is a darker taupe, huh? That's a two taupe. And last but not least is revolver. Wow, it's like a very dark bluish gray. It's a dark taupey bluish gray. So these are the um, all the colors in the palette. And as you know, as you have heard me say, the formula for these 
these um, eyeshadows are not the same as what was in the, the Vice 2 palette. I don't know about the Vice 1 because I don't have that. But for the Vice 2, uh, the Vice 2, the consistency is much better. The creaminess is much more evident here, um, especially in these um, matty, matty type colors, you know, like here and here on, you know, either side or on the lighter colors, the colors that don't have, uh, that have less shimmer. Those are more powdery, which I don't like. But still, I think the pigmentation is okay. But of course, with the powderiness, I think the quality and the pigmentation suffers a little bit. And so this is my a wonderful, long-awaited by me <laughs> swatch video. And so um, I'm going to be doing tutorials using this palette. I'm not sure yet exactly how I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to go like one look per column, you know, so I'm going to do five looks with this palette or how I'm going to do it, I still don't know. So um, please, you know, please watch out for those um, tutorials or for that tutorial. And I think, you know, uh, after swatching it, because I only got it yesterday and I haven't swatched it, it was a brand new palette until I did this video, right, before I did all these swatches. So on the whole, I think it's still a, a, a good buy. It's still a good buy. It just doesn't have the creaminess and the luxurious feel of the um, Vice 2. And I hope they would bring back, you know, that they would bring back the old formula. It's much better. And, and you saw, you know, you can see the difference it makes, like uh, with uh, this oriental type skin tone. And you can see the color much better, you know, on an oriental skin tone, how it looks. Let me go up and down again so you can see. found this uh, review very useful and um, thank you for watching and please don't forget to thumbs up this video and um, please comment and subscribe. Thank you!